and I'm so glad Indu joined us today. And so before we started, um, Indu, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Uh, hi, my name is Indu Priya Panchadeni. I'm a master student of the Information and Technology uh, course in UT Dallas. I started my course in spring 16, and I'll be graduating this December. Um, during the summer, I worked as a data analytics intern at Expedia in Seattle. And yeah, and this is my last semester here. So. Cool. So, um, wha what's your responsibility at Expedia, and uh, what is the most enjoyable part of it? Uh, well, I worked as a data analytics intern in Expedia, and uh, my main uh, job role was uh, we were rolling out a new feature, so I had to work with the data and see what impact it would make once the feature was released in terms of economic impact as well as the customer experience. So that was my role, working with data, and then also once my plan was to uh, determine how I'm going to measure the impact that it would make. So that was uh, my uh, job role in a nutshell. And what I enjoyed about it, uh, I enjoyed the entire experience, the work that I was doing, the people that I met, the place, all of it. So yeah. Oh, that's great. So um, what did you learn from experience culture? And uh, also, what is the most enjoyed part of the culture? Uh, well, what I learned about the culture, I've seen that people at Expedia work hard, but they also know how to take time and enjoy things and do things. So that's something that I've seen is how they balance things, I think which is very important, and they have that good work-life balance. So that's something that I learned, uh, and also that the people are very welcoming. And uh, they always encouraged us to ask questions, to meet new people, learn about their experiences. So that's another thing I liked about them. So that was good. OK, so um, what kind of challenges you are facing while in, in a workplace? Um, challenges like I, as a team, I haven't faced any challenges because the members are very welcoming. They didn't look at me as just an intern who was there for three months, but they just welcomed me into a team like their own. And if I ever faced any problems, I knew that they were there to help me out. Like even if I had to talk to someone else from a different team to get more information, they were always ready to help me out. Uh, and if I had to go into the work, the challenges that I faced, um, I think as a student, we work on projects and we work I mean, we try to solve the problems we face on the project, but when I think we're working with real life data, the problems are a little more different. Yeah. Uh, the challenges we face are something different from what we face here, but I think it was a good learning experience because I knew how to overcome those, again, with the help of my team and other people that I was working with and my manager, so that was a good thing. Um, yeah, what kind of qualities like su successful people have at Expedia? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Well, I've seen that they're hardworking, and that I've realized was very important. And they're, uh, like I said, they have a good balance, but they also know that when they're working, they work without any distractions, and they dedicate themselves to that work. And uh, I've seen that they're open to ideas, and that's something we were encouraged to do, is it d doesn't matter what role you're at. You may be just be an intern, you may be like a top level management, but they're open to ideas. And you can always ask questions because that's how you learn. So that's something else that I learned over there. So yeah. Oh, that's a good culture. Um, so yeah. So um, what is the difference in working in America mm -hmm. compared to working in your home country, mm -hmm. India? Oh, wow. Th th I, I, I did find quite some difference because uh, I worked for a year and a half in India. And uh, I've seen that at least like where I worked previously, the culture was uh, not as friendly as the culture I've seen here. Here, like uh, you work, you hang out like outside of work, you go for a lunch, you network with people. And it's th that's something that I found nice here compared, like I enjoyed my time back home, but that's the difference because in like where I work back home, I think there, there's a very uh, strong hierarchical structure mm -hmm. because if you ha you couldn't directly go and talk to someone at the top probably, you had to like talk to someone the like mm -hmm. bottom level and then go up. Structure. Exactly, so here that's not there. So if I wanted to like meet someone, all I had to do was send out an email, say that I'm an, an uh, intern working in so and so department and I'd like to talk to you about this and they were ready to talk to you. Like it could be over a coffee, lunch or just meet up for half an hour and then talk. So I think that was the big difference. People are like much more friendlier and yeah, it's more fun working here. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, so like you, you, you got your intern at Expedia first and then you, they, they give you a full-time offer. So mm -hmm. like, 
what qualities of you that differentiate you from other uh, applicants, other candidates? Oh, oh, I don't know if I can like answer that as to what differentiated me from other applicants. Um, but I can probably tell you what helped me out during my internship. Um, I've realized that yes, we know quite some things, but there are also a lot of things we don't know. So one thing we have to do is learn on the job. So you always have to be ready to learn new things. You have to learn quickly and you have to take the initiative to learn things. So you've got to be a self learner. I think that's very important. And that's something I know I got uh, as feedback from my manager that I'm a good quick learner. And I think that's something that's important for anyone, uh, even during an internship or as a full-time employee because uh, technology changes, tools change. So you have to be ready to learn. Uh, and w another thing is hard work. Without that, it's not possible. So when you know there's a deadline and you may have to put in more effort, I think you should be ready to do that. Mm -hmm. So I think those are some of the things that helped me out. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. So what strategies did you use to find the inter Expedia? Oh, wow. Uh, I used like multiple resources. Like I know when I was looking for an internship, I was looking at all the companies that I wanted to work at, all the job roles that interested me. There were uh, also, like in UT Dallas, we've got a, a portal, the Higher JSON portal, where you've got multiple postings for internships. So there were multiple things, but the Expedia internship, I got it through their website. I applied for the internship because uh, the job role was something that excited me. It was something that I wanted to do, and also the company. The company is a very well-known company. It's a reputed company. So I think both of those played a role in me choosing this internship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So um, like back to school, mm -hmm. uh, internship, sh internship shirts and academics can be stressful and overwhelming sometimes. So what did you do to handle with stress and uh, keep yourself motivated and happy? Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, one thing is for sure is, is, I don't know, it's not like you'll get an internship called the for the very first application you send in. You have to apply and uh, you'll, I think I, even personally I have gotten like quite a few rejections before I got my first interview call. Uh, I think the two things, firstly you've got to be motivated, self-motivated and also you've got to have a good support system. So I had a good support system in terms of my friends, uh, my family uh, that I could always talk to and they would keep me motivated too. And uh, again, you've mentioned that we also have to concentrate on our academics. That's also very important. I think one shouldn't be affecting the other. You should give them equal importance and uh, try to do the best that you can in both. And uh, another thing that I did was take time off, like when it probably got uh, too stressful for me maybe, I just took time off. I just went out and had fun and I got back to it the next day. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, okay, so uh, what yeah, so okay, uh, as far as I know, you worked many jobs on campus, mm -hmm. such as teaching assistant, art science lab te mm -hmm. technician, and also you involved so many like uh, organizations mm -hmm. such as ITM as students Students with Leadership Council and MIS Club. Mm -hmm. So, um, what did you learn from this uh, experience, and how did this? Ex how does this experience help you? Uh, okay. I think there are like a couple of things I learned is in term. Uh, I've learned time management and uh, priorita prioritization because that's very important. There are probably days when you've got things overlapping, so you need to prioritize as to see what is more important to you. One day you may have an exam and you may have a uh, like an organization event, but so you need to realize which is more important and you have to dedicate the time to it and work for it. And what I've learned is time management. You need to know how to manage your time because there are multiple things you want to do, so that would be one, and I think the various interactions I had with people, like either on my on-campus job or as a teaching assistant, or uh, the people I met through the student organizations, they've all been a like learning experience for me. Oh, that's great. So um, then can you share an experience or a person you on campus that made the most impact on you? Oh, huh. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a very hard question. Because uh, I don't think there's probably one uh, experience or one person that has made like the impact because I think the entire experience or 
the people I've met here have made an impact on me. The various people, again, they could be the professors I uh, worked for, the professors that I studied under, the people I met, all of them have been very good. So I don't think there'd be one person I'd point out, but I know that a couple of people that I'd like to thank would be like my program manager, Courtney Sturges, the professors I worked for when I was a teaching assistant, like Dr. Ravi Shankar Nara and Dr. Russell Torres, Professor Vivek Arora and Dr. Thuan Yuen. Like I've learned something with the other when I was working for them, but also the professors, like all the professors uh, in the School of Management that I've studied under. So all of them have, I think, inspired inspired me in some way or the other. So it would just not be one person or one specific uh, instance, but all of it together. So uh, what is the one thing you learned in your course you thought you I would never use it, mm -hmm. but later it turned out, okay, it was really useful for me? Oh, okay. Um, I never had the feeling that what I'm doing right now, what I'm studying right now is not going to be helpful. Instead, uh, the question was how was it going to help me? Because I know we've got multiple projects that we're doing, we've got assignments that we do. But I don't think uh, I kind of got the full picture as to how it would help me in the future. But I've seen through my internship that the various projects that we did, uh, that's exactly the kind of work that I did in my internship. It's very similar to it. So uh, the question was more about how it would help rather than if it would help. So I think all the courses I've taken have helped me in some way or the other. So yeah. Um, that, that's good. So like, yeah, follow that question. So how has the MS ITM program at UT Dallas prepared you for your long-term goal? Mm -hmm. Um, so I always wanted to. Uh, I wanted to be like a business analyst or a data analyst. So to. I think be a business analyst, it's important to not only look at the data, but also look at the bigger picture to understand the business uh, questions that we're trying to answer with the data we have at hand. And that's I, something I think the MS ITM program helped me with is that it concentrates, like it has a good concentration of the uh, IT courses as well as management courses. So it prepared me to look at the bigger picture, but also understand and work with the tools to leverage that data. So yeah. Um, back to the application period. Mm -hmm. So, what made you choose UT Dallas and this program? Mm -hmm. program? Mm -hmm. um, so, again, like I'd mentioned, mainly I was looking at uh, the course that I wanted to take. I wanted to take the MIS course or the Information Technology and Management course. So, I knew that, but I was also looking at the course structure. Uh, so I saw that at UT Dallas, we had like a good balance of both. We had the technical IT courses as well as the management and business courses. So that's something that uh, made me choose this. But also UT Dallas, it has good culture and uh, another uh, I think major advantage here was the scholarship it offers students. Uh, and that I've seen helps out students a lot. And initially I got the Dean's Excellent Scholarship yeah, and exactly. So that was another thing that just uh, further strengthened my decision to come here. Okay, so 